How you guys doing? I want to do a little video here. Dollar Tree. Bushcraft on a budget. A lot of things you can pick up at stores like the Dollar Tree. Um, save a lot of money on gear for your uh, your survival bag, your bug out bag, um, your bushcraft bag. Um, things that are gonna they're gonna come in handy in the woods that you might not think you'd find at the Dollar Tree. Um, I spent like I don't know, eighteen dollars maybe uh, today, and I mean, there's so much more stuff you can pick up and really uh, fill your backpack, fill your bags with useful items that in an emergency situation are going to come in handy um, just to be more comfortable in the woods are going to come in handy uh, just general stuff there. citronella sticks keep the bugs away um, I'll put these in a ziplock I'll probably cut them in half put them in a ziplock throw them in my bag mosquitoes are bad one night black flies or whatever um, I'll throw one of these by the fire and just uh you know it'll work out great a dollar and a quarter these are good to have in your bag these are those uh just hair ties um scrunchy things or whatever elastic hair ties um i watched a video uh the other day and uh i wish i could give the uh the credit where credit's due but i forget where who i watched it whose video it was but they basically took two of these uh took one of these rather take a stick so I'm find a stick quick. For an example, take a stick, you can run it down. You can put your phone here and you can wrap the other one around like this. And your phone is here where my fingers are. And you got an instant tripod right there. So just little things like that. I use it to hang stuff up in the, uh, in the tent, on trees, um, you know, whatever. They're elastic. I mean, wherever you would need elastic. So, for a buck, they weigh nothing. They're good to have. Another item: candles. Great for uh, just fire starting. A little bit of light around the camp. Whatever. It's a good item. Just candles. There's eight candles right there. This is great. Little individual super glues. Um, you can repair stuff. That might break when you're out in the bush. You could use this emergency situation if you got a bad cut. You could glue that cut back together so you can get the help. You can use this for so many things. You, you peel back some skin or something, you can glue it back, throw a band-aid over it. You're good to go. You're gonna keep some dirt and stuff out from getting an infection. Um, million uses. You rip a boot, something like that, the sole, boom, they're gonna get you back out of the woods. And they're individual, so use one, toss it. You know, they're not going to dry out on you. So you could put them in an Altoids tin and you're good to go. Medical stuff. Single use eye drops. Little tiny vials. A couple drops for each eye. You get something in your eye, wash it out. It weighs nothing. Put them in an Altoids. Make a little uh, a medical kit. Right there, we'll do some medical stuff now triple antibiotic ointment and probably a super small tube because of course it's from the dollar store not too bad but I bet you that would pinch that up and that would fit in an Altoids tin I guarantee it so you can put that your eye drops together a leave uh, fever reducer pain relief whatever it's gonna it's gonna help you little packets six caplets how much do you need you know what I mean pack light you want you're going with uh, multiple people buy a few boxes but for just myself that's perfect hydrocortisone cream a lot of uh, plants a lot of bugs in the woods a lot of things that make you itch this right here it's a lifesaver so I mean there's another item another medical item item and a whole little first aid kit all in one here in a handy little plastic uh, container you got several different kinds of uh, bandages gauze pads everything and it's all in here and you could probably get some I didn't pick any up but I did see them they had alcohol prep pads 
there's room in here. You can throw a couple prep pads in there, some iodine pads. Um, you might be able to squeeze one of them eye drop bottles in here. All sealed up. Throw one of them hair ties around it. It's not going to open up in your bag. It's pretty tight as it is, but you know, it's a safety precaution. Okay, let's talk fire. Look at this. Whole roll of jute for a dollar and a quarter. Look at that. You guys know about starting fire, you know about jute. You shred this up, you make a bird's nest, pull them fibers apart, like that, you make it a little nest, and there's your fire starter right there. Speaking of fire, look at that, Duraflame fire log, mini logs. You can cut off pieces with your knife and use that to start your fires in wet conditions. Put that in a Ziploc bag, throw it in your bag. You can pre-cut it if you want. You can fill an Altoid can, you can fill a, you know, a lotion can, an old can of some sort with pieces, or you can just throw it in a Ziploc, just how it is. Cut off what you need, start your fire. And last item I have is a couple of these shower curtains. Multiple uses right here, okay? They're 70 inches by 72 inches long. You could use these to cover your pack to keep it dry. You could make a small little uh, shelter if you needed to, emergency shelter. You could use them for a ground cloth underneath your sleeping bag and, and whatever you're sleeping on, your bedroll, um, to keep the moisture from coming up. You could use these to collect rainwater in an emergency situation where you need to get water to drink. Um, you can create a lot of things with this. They're black, so in the sun they're gonna bring off heat. Um, you can get any color, you can get clear, whatever, but I picked black. I got two of them, you know. Um, this is just all really good stuff for on a budget, you know, in the, in the bush. Bush in a budget. And uh, just some of the things. So if there's some things, if you've shopped Dollar Tree, you know, to get some good camping gear or whatever, have found some good items, um, comment below the video. Let me know what kind of stuff you found. And uh, do me a favor like the video subscribe hopefully i'll have a lot more content coming out soon um find me on instagram underneath the uh the same name uh bark eater outdoors and have a great day thank you